this is Andrew from JNA Bricks and today we're back with another custom. This is kind of a custom but kind of not a custom because it's based off an actual set which is a uh, set number 7992 which is the container stacker. So the bottom part is largely based on that. Uh, the only thing I had to change was the fenders because I didn't have the actual pieces. And then we added the extra lights to the front and back. And the actual lift part itself is different. Uh, I didn't have the, the piece that this piece would slide into. So I just kind of worked around for a little while and came up with this version. Uh, no problem with this guy seeing it light because he's got lights everywhere all over the front. <coughs> Excuse me. Take a look from the front. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Uh, the front wheels was a challenge to get those because I didn't have the exact wheels that it has in the set. So that's why it looks a little bit wider than the actual set. But only maybe half a stud, maybe one stud. But we, we think it looks okay. I mean, added, added the mirrors to it, it didn't have that in the original set, and I couldn't find a hook, so I kind of made my own uh, lifting mechanism. Let's have a look at the back. And we made the, the light bars a bit wider, and we added the, the back lights to it. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. So let's... Um, Get some containers and see it lifting all right so we got three different size containers this is from the the green cargo train set and this was a, a custom one we just kind of threw together and then we have the bigger ones which is the mask on back here so so the only thing that it kind of the con of this is if the containers on the ground this doesn't come low enough uh to pick it up so this will pick it up from if it's on a train car or if it's from or if it's on a like a tractor trailer. So if it's on the ground it's too low. Which I'm guessing is the same problem with the original set, the actual set, because this when this comes all the way down, it's still too too low or too high to pick it up. But that's okay, it's not like we're actually gonna be running around the city, we'll be Mostly in stationary, so this can attach just like that. And nice thing with this one, and the same with the original one, that no matter how high you go, it's always the container is always going to stay level. And as you can see, it goes up pretty high. So you could potentially double stack these onto onto other containers if this, this was on a, a train car <clears throat> so that's the smaller container let's put the our custom one in there So there we are with the custom container on there, a little bit, big, a little bit bigger, and it looks pretty good. So now we'll put the mask container on there. And there's quite a bit of weight difference between this one, which is completely hollow with the little uh, snowmobile in there, to this one that's solid bricks all the way around. So there's quite a bit of weight difference. I shall get this in the middle. There. As you can see it has no problem. Oh, well. Yeah, I think anything bigger than that and it would tip over. So maybe I'll add some uh, extra ballast back there. So it can take the weight. But yeah, that's 
that's how it looks hooked up to a container and uh let's um we'll show it on a oh yeah so joel just there we go, it falls over hey but look it stays level so some of the containers have this little attachment on it so we came up with a device so if the container has one of those on there that we can use I think I'll put it back in here so I believe this is a five stud grey axle is it five stud? yeah a five stud and then we have a I'm not sure what you call these little pieces but we have put one of these on the end axle cap or whatever it is one of those things so the lift can come down low enough oh never mind this would have to be on the train car because it can't go down low so imagine this is on the train car or on the truck So with when this comes down low enough, it lines up and then you can feed the, the axle through both of them and then you can pick it up. Just like that. Ooh. So this way you don't have to keep taking the the attached pieces off of all the containers and you can just set it back down pull the pin and then you can pull away so yeah there is our custom ish mock of a container lift one thing you forgot to say that's where you get in oh yeah and the ladders on both sides so it doesn't matter where you are you can get in there and yeah so i think i'm going to add something to the back just to give it a little bit of extra weight even though this thing is pretty heavy already but yeah if you like it give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and follow us on instagram until next time see ya